Hello, my name is Dominique Katsper Poiza, and uh, I have the honor to uh, be a part of the team who will present the uh, uh, presentation results of interdisciplinary searching for chamberless megalithic graves in the region of Wietrzechowice Culture Park. This place is located in central Poland, in Kujawia, which is a very famous archaeological region. Uh, we, at the start, we would like to thank the organizers that they decided to uh, and agree to uh, for us for this presentation. And it is really a great uh, thing for us that we can present our results. In our team, uh, there is several people who uh, prepared this presentation, and uh, uh, I would like to present them. First of all, Dr. Piotr Papiernik, who is uh, working in the uh, Museum of Archaeology and Ethnography, and he is uh, the chief of the project which was realized from 2009, and this project was called uh, Archaeological Sources in the Region of Wietrzechowice Culture Park. Uh, we've got also Joanna Wicha, she is an archaeologist from the museum and she uh, did the field research uh, of uh, field walking and some archaeological excavation. Rafał Brzeszark, also archaeologist from the uh, Co Professor Konrad Jaszewski Foundation of Archaeological Research and he is a specialist in the aerial, aerial photography, so he did uh, thousands of photographs of our region and found several megaliths. There is also Professor Piotr Kittel from the University of Łódź, Department of uh, Geography and Geology, and he was, was responsible for the geological study and also geochemical uh, research, which will be presented uh, in the, a few minutes. And uh, the last but not least, uh, Piotr Wroniecki, uh, archaeologist and specialist in, in non-destructive methods. He was responsible for georadar, geomagnetic and other non-invasion methods which, was, which were applied for this project. In our presentation today, we would like to present results of archaeological interdisciplinary research of chamberless megalithic graves from this region of Wietrzechowice Culture Park which I said it was located in central Poland. Uh, I presented uh, uh, several institutions which uh, are involved in the project, so especially Museum of Archaeology and Ethnography in Łódź and Professor Konrad Jaszewski Foundation of Archaeological Research, which together uh, realized the project for many uh, years. Uh, and also we've got the University of Łódź and some independent researchers and other institutions. Um, today uh, we would like to present uh, some results of interdisciplinary research, but uh, to draw this uh, picture properly, we have to uh, go back to the history of research, which is really interesting and also was very important in our project. So, uh, soon we will move to the presentation. So, this is our presentation uh, and uh, I will briefly move to the to the next slide. And uh, this is the location of the terrain of our research and you can see the the red dot that's the Poland which is located in the center of central parts of European lowlands. The Wietrzechowice Culture Park is located in the northern part of 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 central Poland and it is the graves where uh, found in the 30s uh, by Konrad Jaszewski in this wood and they are protected by the National Wood Institution uh, and also by the by the local uh, by the local um, society in in Wietrzychowice which also protect them and they were excavated and reconstructed during several field campaign uh, what is very important is also geological situation in in uh, that uh, terrain, uh, because uh, the Kuyavia uh, and especially the southern part uh, is located in the 
uh, frontal part of the last glaciation. So this terrain was uh, formed around uh, 20,000 or 18,000 years ago and it's built with the uh, sand, clay and also large stones which are very good for construction of uh, megalithic graves uh, because the uh, this uh, material for uh, making the, the um, frames for the uh, megalithic uh, Quiavian long barrows were uh, in close vicinity to the sites and in this upper picture you can see these uh, blue lines that's our location of potential graves megalithic graves which we know that they existed in these villages or areas. I said at the beginning that we have to uh, come back to the history of research because the uh, megalithic graves were uh, mentioned several times in the history and the first mention which we could find was made in the beginning of uh, 19th century and some ethnographs which were drawing the uh, in, and were uh, drawing picture of the Cuyavia land they uh, wrote a few words about the mounds with large stones which were standing in the uh, landscape of Cuyavia. Uh, again in middle of 19th century Oscar Kohlberg also wrote a larger uh, text about the megaliths and he also wrote quite dangerous uh, thing that these mounts, these megalithic graves with large stone were really destructive for local farmers and they decided to uh, cancel these, uh, some of the mounts and stones, use the stones for construction of building and uh, roads uh, and uh, they need the flat uh, surface so they also destroy the, the earthen uh, mount so uh, there is no uh, information uh, about some of the graves because they were destroyed in middle of 19th century but this uh, text were uh, uh, found by this lady this is Natalia Kitska she is a very interesting uh, woman uh, and she did the uh, excavation, first scientific excavation for the megaliths in uh, 1873 and she wrote an article in the uh, archaeological journal in Wiadomości Archeologiczne and uh, she wrote that together with Count Bniński in village Żuravica they uh, dug out the megalith it was very uh, excited uh, activity and they want to uh, quickly go to the to the grave the chamber but they knew that they have do this excavation in some uh, layers so uh, it is the first scientific information about the megalithic graves in Poland uh, from the second part of 19th century. This article was written also by Roderick van Erkert, who was the Prussian general and also the um, person who wanted to uh, search for some uh, treasures and as he called uh, the graves of giants because he expected that under so big uh, constructions because these Cuyavian megaliths could have nearly 100 meters and few meters up so they like the local Cuyavian pyramids and he uh, did few field campaign during uh, which he uh, excavated it I think the bad words because he destroyed several of mounts almost 30 or 40 during one field season uh, together with some German archaeologists he also they also wrote some short report from that from that uh, activity but we have to say that this is very that was very destructive uh, job he did and now we move to the really uh, first uh, proper scientific uh, activity and on this picture you can see the Konrad Jaszewski from 1936 so, so that was the uh, PhD Dr. Konrad Jaszewski who wrote the, uh, his dissertation about the Funnel Baker culture in, in Central Europe 
uh, and also in Poland. And he, uh, during uh, his visit from the first part of 30s of 20th century in Kuyavia, he uh, did some excavation in Kuyavia, and you can see here the pictures from that from that uh, excavation made by Konrad Jaszewski, and he did uh, text in Polish, but I will uh, translate this in the wood uh, um, who belongs to the owner of Wietrzychowice, Mr. Adolf Bomer, exists six huge um, graves, we call them Kuyavian graves from the uh, Neolithic time, and I think that they are the biggest and most spectacular graves in Poland or maybe in this part of Europe. So in the 30s, Konrad, young Konrad Jaszewski uh, knew that these are very important, uh, uh, very important uh, objects and these stones were originally left after excavation and you can see them and that also uh, original standing in the uh, cultural park in Wietrzychowice. So he did uh, almost not the reconstruction because some of these frames were existed until, until now. Uh, after Second World War, Konrad Jaszewski started to be the director of our museum, Museum of Archaeology and Ethnography, and one of his students, Waldemar Chmielewski, who later was one of the most important professor of a Paleolithic and uh, cave excavation in Central Europe, or maybe even in, in, in Europe, but he started with excavation of one grave in Gai, the village near to Wietrzychowice, and he did the, the, the excavation and also found some remains of special building, which was in the um, frontal part of the grave. So uh, his publication of his master of art thesis uh, is still um, very interesting and he did really good excavation uh, and we have a lot of information about the shape and the constructions detail of, of that uh, megalithic chamberless grey. Uh, another campaign after almost 15 years uh, archaeologists from the Museum of Archaeology and Ethnography came back to Kuyavia and they uh, excavated several graves in Wietrzychowice and in Sarnovo, another cemetery of megalithic graves in the southern Kuyavia that was made by Lydia Gabaówna and Professor Jaszewski together with uh, Stanisław Madajski. They excavated these graves. What is important in Sarnovo, that's the one of the first colorful picture of archaeological site from Poland, there was no stones, there were no mm, great uh, stone frame because we have the information that all stones were taken in 20s or in the beginning of 20th century by uh, the uh, local government to build the road from Lubraniec to Wietrzychowice, so the local road was built from the frames of these graves, but they were standing in the wood and were very well excavated. From one of those graves was also one of the oldest date of Funnel Baker culture, which is probably not very good, not fitted for Funnel Baker, but that's the different problem which we are not talking today. During this uh, campaign from 70s, uh, there was the uh, information which was uh, verified about the uh, one of the graves, because in, in the 30s Konrad Jaszewski mentioned six graves in uh, the Wietrzychowice wood and one in Śmiewy. So we've got one, three, uh, two, three, four, five and six here. That one was verified by us in, in um, 2010 and here was the uh, uh, megalith in Śmiewy, which had no frame and there was no sign on the f in the in the terrain that th this this uh, uh, megalith existed. And here you can see how some of the megaliths were reconstructed in Sarnovo and Wietrzychowice from the last campaign, and how difficult and how many uh, strength you need to to transport the stones. And here is the. Uh, plan of this Wietrzychowice culture park drawn by Jaszewski and here is the this grave in Śmiewy which will be very important in the further uh, presentation which we will talk today. So 
Uh, after another 25 uh, years, uh, or more, 35 uh, years, archaeologists, archaeologists uh, came back to Wierczechowice Culture Park, and in 2009, Piotr Papiernik and me, Dominik Kasper Płaza, started the excavations around the Wierczechowice Culture Park, which should, uh, as a main goal, was the finding of the uh, settlements of builders of the megaliths. We know from the history of research that these graves was uh, dozens and and maybe hundreds, uh, and there was almost no sign in archaeological field excavation of the um, settlements. So we excavated one of them, made the field walking around the wood, and then quickly decided that this is not uh, enough. We have to uh, look on this uh, megalithic graves from the broader scale and we choose the area of 160 uh, kilometers, square kilometers and on that terrain decided to do the project which almost took more than 10 years and the main goals aims were the of, uh, searching for chronology and cultural diversity of Stone Age settlement, near megalithic graves in Wietrzechowice and Gai and other localities. Uh, we need to do the field walking research on the area of, as I said, almost 160 square kilometer, uh, searching for this settlement pattern and searching for another megalithic graves verification of archival data of megalithic graves and searching for unknown megaliths and comprehensive environmental research in the Wietrzechowice area. And what methods we applicate for the project which we started uh, at the time. So that was the aerial photography with use of plane and drone. Almost 200, uh, 200 flights were done and more than 30,000 uh, pictures were taken. Uh, another uh, method was used the non invasion research at five settlements of Funnel Baker culture. Now it's more, even more about them. With use of field walking methods, geochemical research, geomagnetic, different geomagnetic methods, and of course aerial photography. And combine of all of these methods could give us, we expected, a good results of uh, application of all of these. Uh, one of the methods of field walking, uh, not destructive, was also detailed surface registration. After finding uh, good sites or sites which we predicted that could be the megaliths or uh, some large settlement, we used the detailed surface registration, uh, spent several days and located all of material in the uh, exact places with use of some um, GPS localization, which also uh, could show very interesting uh, information. I will talk about this later. Uh, from the beginning, we started with the pros uh, geophysics prospection with electromagnetic, electric resistance and ground penetrating radar. From that, uh, for that part was responsible Piotr Wroniecki and in several localities in megalithic uh, site and some settlements were done these uh, different methods and also they brought very interesting results. Uh, and uh, the last uh, but not least is the geochemical research which were done in Wietrzychowice Wood, almost 35 hectares where we uh, used uh, um, very interesting uh, searching for, for information. I will soon tell you some words about it. So, uh, aerial photography, as I said, used plane in 2013 and 14, and then drone, uh, and uh, area of 38 square kilometers when uh, photographs and uh, more than 35,000 photos were taken. We used the drone octocopter uh, with camera of Panasonic, which is really uh, strong. Um, machine which can do the pictures also in not so proper uh, weather. And that's the uh, area which were photographs which we were focused on uh, and you can see here some um, pictures of, of objects or megaliths which were 
seen from the from the sky and uh, they could uh, help us with the localization of some, some objects and here are the megalithic graves and that's the this picture is taken in the village uh, near Sarnovo and Juravica and we suppose that this could be the locality of the excavation of uh, Natalia Kitska from um, 19th century but that's the only uh, our um, suggestion we have no uh, proof that exact one of them uh, was was excavated but it's real uh, chance that uh, this is true and that uh, are the graves in other uh, localities uh, in Kuyavia uh, we can see, you can see how they are uh, seen the some um, more black uh, areas in the center uh, are um, often found in in these graves so you can see some details of construction of that methods. Geophysics prospection uh, use as I said electromagnetic method, electric resistance and ground penetrating radar in several uh, in several uh, locations in Wietrzechowice near the graves, in Gai, in Osiecz Mały, that's the settlement, in Śmiewy site one, so that's the grave which I will talk later. Uh, the very interesting method, geochemical research, uh, were uh, uh, applied in the Wietrzechowice wood, and there was uh, around 1,500 small drills and taken samples of soils uh, from the ground. And the method uh, uh, of relative determination of the phosphorus content in the tested soil samples was developed. Uh, also, uh, PhD Towoczko helped as a, a chemist specialist uh, in that in that project. And uh, um, the samples were uh, arbitrary scale with a range from zero to five degrees and five means the most deep blue which uh, suggests the most uh, phosphorus uh, existence in the samples mm, and uh, the results you can see how how it looked during the the um, testing but uh, most interesting are results in wood, you can see the, some concentration of phosphorus. And what is funny, uh, in that part, we've got some uh, small amount of archaeological materials. In some areas, we've got the sites which were known from the outside of the wood. And it is really uh, helping us with developing, uh, finding the megalithic graves. Uh, we also do the non-destructive research at Stone Age site. We've used the detailed surface collecting of archaeological materials. You can see this is the GPS, which uh, all uh, finds like pottery fragments, flints, and other materials were uh, registered uh, in details. Then we divide this for different and chronology and different sources and as you can see here that's example from Timian from the settlement of funnel baker culture and that's the uh, material which we found also some metal jewelry fragments and as you can see we've got two finds from Mesolithic time several from LBK so the earliest Neolithic the most amount is there from funnel baker culture but there is also almost 200 flints and other material which uh, are almost for modern age so uh, we can then uh, sort this for different chronology and find some sections of the site and locate some special special uh, zones of of different materials uh, this is also the uh, example how we, the use of detail um, searching helped with the uh, megalithic grave um, localization and uh, we know them from the aerial photography then we did also the test with some uh, geophysic method and also find the, the material which 
uh, is often found in the mounds, inside the mound, because we, ex we suggest that some uh, materials could be added to the mound, so this is uh, also some um, information for us that, that these graves could be really placed in that, in that area. And uh, I will move to this example of the Shmia with the um, disappeared uh, megalith. Uh, we were looking for them for several years and in w one year the aerial photography showed the structural rate this and the test trench which was done in 70s by the Konrad Jerzewski so they missed really close the the megaliths you can see this megalith here and another photograph here we also did uh, twice the uh, geomagnetic study and first season was here so we missed also the grave <laughs> Uh, very closely, but that field was in, impossible to do the uh, geomagnetic study in 2014, so we had to wait three years and then it's really uh, very uh, visible the structure of the grave. We also did, of course, the field walking research and the uh, materials is very close to the, to the um, frontal part of the of the mound, so uh, it's similar to other other glyph, and uh, there is a 18 funnel baker uh, materials and some flints which are also connected with this with this uh, and another time you can see how it was interpreted by the Piotr Wroniecki and how this material in different field walking was uh, in different field walking um, activity was planned. Uh, we also did the very difficult geophysical prospection in the Wietrzechowice Cultural Park wood inside and also this suggests some structures and some uh, information. We were searching for one missing uh, grave and there was no sign of this of this grave in this in this place so not always these methods give the positive uh, results. And also the, the last pictures of some uh, funnel bakers of the uh, Megalis builders settlements, uh, how uh, use of this detail uh, field walking uh, research could help with some placing of, of uh, and localization of the, of the um, settlements. So this is also very, very interesting and very, of course, the time consuming and, and hard. Um, combination of several methods like aerial photographs, geophysical prospection, detailed surface collecting of materials and geochemical research could help us with finding of megalithic graves and settlements and saying is in that uh, locality there are graves or not because not of all of them were uh, verified in the positive way. Um, our project uh, is still uh, um, is still active and we do another season of, of field walking. We published the, the some uh, first volume of summary of the Stone Age site uh, um, research uh, which was done with some funds from, from Ministry of Heritage of Poland. We did the uh, Mm, ex uh, exhibition about the megaliths. You can see here the the poster from that from that exhibition, and this exhibition is open until the August or September this year. So if you would like to visit the megalithic exhibition in Poland, you are um, um, you can come to to us to watch and and see this. Uh, and uh, the only, in our opinion, only long term and focused on limited area project could do the uh, really satisfying results and uh, we think that there is a lot to discover uh, in the future and uh, we did huge job but it's still is still a lot but the whole uh, archaeological uh, working is almost 90 years of research and the fourth generation of archaeologists in Wietrzychowice and Sarnowo area in southern Kujawia so uh, the so long and so difficult uh, project uh, is still 
uh, done and uh, we still do not know all information about the location and construction detail of megalithic grave so we have to do another another project here you can see the uh, uh, picture of the uh, author of the uh, our presentation uh, so and some uh, our um, emails and contact details so uh, that's the team and the last picture uh, show the um, institution which are involved in the in the project so the museum of archaeology and ethnography um, professor kondesarzewski foundation of archaeological research and also the uh, the cultural center in izbica kuyavska which helped us for many years with the project and reali realization of all our activity. Uh, the uh, research was uh, financed by the uh, Konrad Erzewski Foundation of Archaeological Research, Museum of Archaeology and Ethnography uh, of which uh, the local Kuyavian and Pomerania government, the local uh, government of Łódź, and the marshal the, um, and some other institution which uh, helped us uh, uh, from for several years we also received the uh, finance from the ministry of culture and heritage and it is really a great support from all of this institution and thank you very much for your attention and as i said you are welcome to watch to visit our uh, excavation. Thank you very much and bye-bye.